Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeff Askoff and in this video we're going to be taking a look at one of my favourite images from 2023 and the significance that it will have on my photography during 2024. Now, 20 years ago in 2004, I put away my Leica film cameras and joined the brave new digital photography world after spending quite a considerable amount of money on two Canon digital cameras. Now, prior to this move, I'd been shooting film for about 15 years. Everything was great in the world of digital. I got into it, I got used to it. I found what I liked about digital and how to make digital look like film. Some people find that a bit weird, but it was my style. And about 10 years ago, I kind of, felt that I needed to explore film again. And I would dip my toe in the water here and there, a roll shot here, a roll shot there, nothing really groundbreaking. And then last year, I started to get much more of a feeling of wanting to go into film full time. The plan was that we were gonna go away for several weeks during the summer, which we do every year, and photograph up and down the UK. And I was gonna be shooting the majority of my work with a Leica M6 camera and film. Now, unfortunately, very early on, the first day, in fact, I had an issue with one of the M6 TTLs. The film wouldn't wind past the 15th frame. It just jammed. And this is quite a common problem with cameras that haven't been serviced for such a long time like mine. And it's completely my fault. I should have had them serviced before we actually went out on the trip, but, but there you go. So I had to rewind the film into the canister and then I put another film in just to make sure that it wasn't a problem with that film and the same thing happened again. So I had two rolls of film on the first day that had been used only to the halfway point. I started to think, is it worth it? You know, I've got this problem with this film camera now, you know, and, and I've got my digital here and I ended up shooting the rest of the summer with digital. The whole kind of film digital debate went round my head again. You know, is it worth the hassle? Is it worth the cost? Is it worth all the aggravation that you get with film? What am I doing wrong? Wrong. why am I doing this why am I even putting myself through this you know when we came back home I still had two rolls of film left two half rolls of film I guess and I was curious to see what was on them so I decided to put these half rolls in a couple of my other m6s and go and finish them basically so we went to Blackpool and I finished the two rolls send them to the lab a week later the legs came back I held them up to the window see what they were like thought there was nothing worthwhile on them put them into storage and forgot about them and then we obviously we had our Doberman puppy arrived and he's been a full time job for the past uh, three months. And it wasn't until really just before Christmas that I was able to have some time to have a look at those images that I took back in the summer. And it was a really strange feeling when I fed the negatives into the film scanner and started to see the image come up on the screen. All those reasons why I wanted to shoot film came back. The images just seemed to suit what I had in my head. You know, they, 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 it just felt right. And of course they were as grainy as hell. They were never as clear and as sharp as my monochrome images, but that didn't matter. That's kind of how I saw my pictures when I was taking them. They had something about them, perfect imperfections, if you like. And the only way I can kind of describe it is if you're a vinyl nerd, you know, you like vinyl records and you know, everybody else streams, but you want to hold that piece of plastic in your hand and put it on a turntable and put a, a stylus over to it and hear the pop and the hiss and so on. It's that kind of um, sensory thing that you get with um, old technology, if you like. And it's the same as if you play guitar. I would prefer to play through a tube amplifier and get the tubes warm and get that kind of really creamy distorted sound from an amplifier rather than plug my guitar into my computer and get the same sort of thing through Pro Tools or Logic or something. That's, that's kind of where I am. And I think it's the same thing with photography. I like that feeling, that kind of sensory feeling of, of film and of using film cameras, you know, having to take my time when taking a photograph. Because for the past two or three years, particularly on the street, I've been very fast, very reactionary, very kind of run and gun. And I've kind of built my style around that. But you know, I want to slow down now. I've done all that. I've, I've spent several years doing that now. I really want to slow down and, and do something different. Now with a film like I can't take several photographs of a scene very quickly, maybe one every second. You know, you can't really, go faster than that and it makes the pressing of the shutter far more important I guess um, you get it wrong and you miss the photograph so the added pressure I really like and it's something I'm really kind of looking forward to doing throughout the rest of this year besides all of that 
Sarah will often say to me, you know what? When you have a Leica film camera in your hand, you have a big smile on your face. And when you don't, you're very serious. I guess that kind of sums up where I want to be with these, these little cameras. And in conjunction with that as well, the other big change that I've decided to make is to go away from the ultra wide angle lenses that I've been using and concentrate shooting with 50 millimeter lens. I, I, I really want to slow down now. And the cost factor of the film will make me do that but also the fact that I've got to focus lenses I've got to bring the camera up to my eye take my time and take those kind of pictures will all change the way that I approach photography and for me that's a good thing at this point in my career going forward we're going to have one of us shooting film one of us shooting digital which should make for quite an interesting set of videos through 2024 this was one of the photographs that I took in Blackpool while I was finishing up the rolls of film. I'd taken a couple of others along the promenade which I was happy with, but this is the one that really stood out. One of those images which I'll look back on and think, you know, that was the photograph that really took me on the next steps in my career. It's grainy. There's not a huge amount of detail in it, but it has a mood which I really like a lot. The tonal range, particularly the highlight and shadow renditions, are totally different to what I would normally get with my monochrome. And what I particularly like about it is this feeling of light coming through the frame. Now, when I took the photograph, I was aware of the goals and I tried really hard to get the timing right to get that shutter press just as they took off and moved through the frame. Obviously, I had no idea if I'd got the shot or not until I scanned the actual films. And I actually like that. It's good to have some time between taking the photograph and seeing what I actually have. That way I can look at the photograph again without any emotional attachment to the image. The shot is made by that girl in the top right of the frame, but I also like the positioning of the family group. I particularly like their separation and their body shape. Looking through the frame, I like the guy in the background trying to push a stroller in the sand. His shape is nice and so is his positioning in the frame. And as with a lot of my work, the composition is based on the golden spiral. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.